All right, so we have the HD2 on T-Mobile, which was just announced. Right. Uh, available tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, I think one ninety nine with a two year contract. Um, let's see. So, launching the camera, <laughs> no problem. Five megapixel one, uh, just the same as on uh, most of our phones these days. Mm -hmm. um, you can already start to see when you look at the uh, the application tiles what's different about this one, right? So, uh, first things you see are the Blockbuster app and Transformers. Mm -hmm. um, if we go to Transformers, you'll see that Transformers 1 and 2 come preloaded on the phone, um, so you can just play them right off your phone. You're not paying for it, you're not, you don't have to like open up a stream or anything <laughs> like that. It's, they're right on the phone and uh, obviously they look great, you know, so. Uh, this, this plays back right in our album, um, which uses uh, hardware acceleration for H.264, so mm -hmm. it's an accelerated video, and you can see it plays back really smoothly. We can even uh, skip ahead to, you know, some good part, so that that way you get a better idea of what's going on and how it looks. It's like a movie, I mean... Yeah, well, four, I hope so. 4.3 <laughs> four, four inch screen, right? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, and, and, you know, WVGA, so pretty good resolution, right? Basically, you know, high resolution for all cell phones, mm -hmm. um, and plus the size, and plus the quality of the screen should should mean a great movie experience for you. And then, um, also, you know, speaking about great movie experiences, is if we go back home, you'll notice the Blockbuster application. So, with this Blockbuster application, you can either rent or buy movies from Blockbuster online, mm -hmm. And uh, you can also, uh, like, the movies will either download to your card if you buy them, or you can also stream them. Um, Over so, 3G or just Wi-Fi? Uh, I, I actually believe that it should be either way, um, because it's going to buffer. Mm -hmm. um, so you, I was not told that it was limited, and if it is, then I just wasn't told, and I'm sorry <laughs> about that. Um, but it, it's, it's pretty interesting, and, you know, they, obviously lots of really recent movies so that you, you can catch up on all the stuff that you miss because you have kids and whatnot. <laughs> um, and then if we scroll up, we'll see a little more of the extra content that comes with the, the uh, HD2 on T-Mobile. Um, there's the Barnes & Noble application, a full e-reader. Um, it works exactly as you'd expect it to. You can buy the, the books right from the store. Mm -hmm. um, in addition, you also uh, can, it also syncs, um, so that, you know, if you have a Nook or if you use the Barnes & Noble Reader on another platform, whatever, uh, if you're reading on here, you know, you, it'll sync, and so when you pick up another device, it'll be your latest uh, spot. For everybody watching that, that FPO stands for for placement only. It's not a giant FPO ad. Yeah, so, so uh, it, you know, it's still we're still a day away from launching mm -hmm. this phone, so I'm sure that uh, that will be gone by the time that this goes on sale tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and then also, Mobi TV lets you stream TV networks. Um, should be able to go so vertical mode again, so lets you stream TV networks, and you can see what's on, just tap on something and you should be able to uh, get on here. I had no idea what I was tapping on, but I'm not going <laughs> to complain. No worse for me. <laughs> so now that we're all in an empire state of mind, let's, uh, let's see what else is new here. It looks like the other new thing uh, would be Guitar Hero, mm -hmm. um, which... That's not a new app. That's... No, no, I guess uh, T-Mobile did include that in some of the My Touches, mm -hmm. um, so it isn't new, but I guess new for including it on the Pocket PC. Proceed? Yes. Let's okay. see. I'm horrible at this game. Uh, I don't know how good I am on the, the phone. I play, I've played I... a lot of it with... I can guitar. play guitar. I can't play Guitar Hero. Go figure. All right, let's just see this real quick. Yeah, come on. <laughs> oh, 
Oh gosh, is it like going to make you make a character and everything? Before it better. You even if get to it play? does, we're not going to do it. <laughs> Everybody's going to have to uh, deal. There oh, we go. Oh, oh, you get to just play. All right. I think, or maybe. Can't really hear, it, but that's all right. It's Guitar Hero. Cool. All right. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, that's what you've got that's new on it, and the rest, uh, you know, I know that you guys are intimately familiar with the HD2, mm -hmm. uh, so you know what all is available on there, and I know that you've uh, looked at the software, so the rest goes, uh, is almost exactly the same as what you've seen on our European launch of the HD2. I asked you back in January at CES if Windows Mobile was dead at the time. Since then, we've seen the launch of Windows Mobile 7, right, or right. Windows Phone 7 series, and right. I still have a hard time saying that in one right. breath. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of words. It's okay. Yeah. Do you see the death of 6.5 now, or how long do you, do you picture 6.5 really having a shelf life? Well, so Microsoft says that they're going to continue to support 6.5, mm -hmm. um, primarily because right, devices like the HD Mini would not be possible without 6.5 right. Right? because uh, because of the requirements of Windows Phone 7, you are only going to see it on larger devices. About the smallest device you could ever see would be something about this size. Mm -hmm. So 3.6 inches is minimum screen size. So you know, you're know you really not going to be able to get much smaller than the, the desire. Um, so if you want something that's smaller, you know, it, then you're going to need to stick with, with 6.5 for a while. Um, it'll depend on how much interest we see mm -hmm. in more, more phones with 6.5 as to whether it continues to have a shelf life. But certainly now, um, 7 isn't even available. Right. You know, so to say that 6.5 is dead, mm -hmm. it, it, it would, would be pointless. Very much I mean, not so. Yeah, there's still many months before 7 even will be on a phone. So it's possible, and, and I know you can't tell me, but it's possible we could still see new devices with, with 6.5. I mean, it's not that dead, I, is well, kind of what I'm getting certainly at. Certainly, we know Microsoft is going to continue to support it in some form. Mm -hmm. And we also know that if people are going to want to create smaller devices, that 6.5 is going to be, or what, smaller devices running Windows Mobile, that 6.5 is going to be their only choice for you know, at least a gener a generation. Gotcha. gotcha. Right? Well, thank you very much. Microsoft may change that in the future, but whether they do or when they do, mm -hmm. I don't know.